Last week, we used oil pastel to create our Art Simon Says drawings. And this week, we're going to add, add watercolors so we can cover our whole painting with color. Hello, my talented artists. First thing we're going to do is we are going to add some white because something magical happens when you paint watercolor all over oil pastel. The oil pastel pushes its way up from the water so that you can see the oil pastel and the watercolor together. The watercolor doesn't just cover it all up. Even though we're going to cover it up, we're going to paint right on top of our oil pastel. When we get to use white, it's very fun because it's like we're making secret drawings. First, I'm going to pick a shape and I'm going to color it in with my white oil pastel. And I want to really use my muscles and press and get that nice and thick. It's hard to see unless you're really, really close. I think I'm going to see what happens when I go on top of this red line with white. White plus red. Let's see what happens. It's changing to pink. Very cool. I think I'm going to make some a secret snowflake shape. Let's see if we can. We have to really press hard if we want it to show up. And I'm going to write a word that you will only see once we paint right on top. I'm gonna turn my oil pastel sideways so I can make a thick line to do my word. I'm using my helping hand to keep my paper steady. Okay, let's see, what else do I wanna do? I'll make little circles all around. Polka dots. And they're not going to be white because I'm blending them with a little other color. So this will be pale green. This one will be pale orange. You can do more than me. I'm going to stop because I know you are excited to do this. Now I have my brush that I need to treat with care. I have water and I have some watercolor little pads. Now watercolor needs to be activated to get to the color and we need water to activate that paint. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the water and I'm just gonna sweep it on the bottom of my little bowl and then I'm gonna carry the water over to my little watercolor pad and I'm going to rub my brush in a circle. 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see what happens. I'm going to paint on top. Whoa, you can see it's starting to resist. The, the oil pastel is making the watercolor bead up a little bit. Now, if I just take water, no paint, it still has a little paint, and I move it around in a little circle, it comes right off. Isn't that cool? Look, this part resisted the paint. Okay, I need a little more water in this paint container. So I'm gonna add a drop and gently press it out. Two drops. Now I'm going to rub it 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The more you rub, the darker your watercolor will be. Let's see. Ooh, I could paint lines like that. I could paint shapes. I think I'm ready to switch to purple. So I need to move some water over. And one thing that you might feel like doing is taking your brush after you kind of wash it and go tap, tap, tap. But if you do that, you're gonna splatter water everywhere. So we're not gonna go tap, tap, tap. 
If you don't like all the water on your brush, see how it's kind of drippy? You can just let it drip once or you can press it against the side of your bowl. So let's rub the purple 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Notice how I'm holding the paint with my other hand, my helping hand. It's very important. Let's go over my secret word. Can't quite tell what it is. Now I'm going to get water and I'm going to make little circle movements with my brush. Ooh, I want to get a little more paint. I think we're starting to see the word. And do you see my word? It's party. And don't forget to go all the way to the edges. If you paint on the table, we will wash it at cleanup time. Don't worry, it's the art room. We might get a little messy and that is fine. I think my painting looks so happy and exciting. I cannot wait to see what you do. Mm -hmm.